Whoa. Nah, <laughs> bro literally just forgot about the door spawn. Someone did not watch my loot guide and it shows. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, dude does not know how to loot for your room. That is unlucky. <laughs> Someone send this dude a loot guide, bro. This is crazy. Yo, I just wrapped up the Intel Roulette video, so I figured I'd just wait on the second Bitcoin while I uh, get into my plans for this week. The last two weeks, I've been running out like a planned theme in each of my raids, so this week I decided it could be good to just kick back and run streets for loot for a day or two normally. This video is just gonna be a day or two, like I said, of gameplay. And this is mostly just because I plan on uploading a loot guide this week before this video gets out as well, so... If you're newer to Tarkov, or if you just don't have much experience on Streets either, it might be just what you need to start raking in the millions of rubles that Streets has to offer for anyone who really takes the time to learn all the loot hotspots and all the spawns as well. I'll link that video in the description of this video if I do get it done beforehand and in any of my Streets vids in the future just for anyone looking to learn. I'm going to bed after I pull these, but we finished last video with 97 Bitcoin, so these two here will make 98 and 99, and then tomorrow before work I'll pull 100, and then after work will be 101, and then we'll get into the raids for the week. Hmm? Bro. Tarkov patch moment right here, baby. Let's go. At least I can break through the windows, right? Alright. It shouldn't be that hard to navigate. Yeah, it's all the doors. Is it the locked doors too, man? I might not even be able to play today. That's incredible. Can't even loot Concordia. We might as well just move on, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So is it just those glass doors? <laughs> yeah, it's literally just the glass doors. That is tragic, actually. That just means I can't run Concordia until they patch this. That's incredible. I couldn't even scav streets either today, so it might just be... An incredibly horrible patch, but they got rid of snow, so at least we got that going for us. It feels so, like, weird and quiet without the snow in the game. No one's hit face, okay. I also haven't heard a single shot this entire raid, so I don't know what's going on, but it feels so, like, weird and dead. It's also because the snow's gone, but it's really weird to not hear anything. Let's hope this door opens, too. Oh, beautiful. I would have been so sad if I just wasted that key. A badge? Okay. There's not even tax spawns, bro. This raid feels so weird. There's like nothing in check. This has like gotta be the worst check that I've had all night. That's like 50k from one use. That is tough. We really just hit the full world tour all the way around the map. We didn't see or hear a single player or scav. Hey yo. Nah, no way. First raid of the entire patch. It's been like, the patch happened like 30 minutes ago. I just loaded this raid up to see how it felt and we are already getting vacuum looted. No wonder check 15 was so empty. That is crazy. Yeah, you literally can't get out this window. Like, unless there's just an exploit that I don't know about where you can crawl through that window. That's definitely a vacuum looter. Nah. We even got a GPU yoinked. That is absolutely tragic. We're really logged in 10 minutes after the patch just to see if his cheats still work. That's crazy. I mean, vacuum looter consider, we still got out pretty juice. It's still a few hundred K for free from a basically dead run right after patch. Okay. No more cheaters, please. This is a beautiful spawn though. Maybe Kaban's here. No Kaban. But we got ourselves an army of serves here that's worth just about 200 K. That's uh, all I pulled from bed. Oh, I finally don't feel crazy for calling the food spawns moonshine spawns, man. You love to see it. Okay, what an absolutely blessed raid. No Bitcoin, but the moonshine GPU combos over a mill. We're getting out the gutters with this one. <laughs> Such a fat run, too. There's no way I just got iced by a player scared for like three mil, is there? Nah, just a PMC crouching in Beluga. What's he got on? Maybe he's poor, maybe he needed it. Okay, he's not poor, but that boy needs some drip. He better go spend those rubles on an extra outfit. That is crazy. 
At least we can swap out the brick GPU and they are going for 900k. You love to see those. Okay. I think I got like five or six more found and raid ones in the farm still that we can switch out. So it's still not that bad if we die with the GPU from now on for a couple more deaths at least. We spawned at Concordia this raid and killed Caban, but there really wasn't much else to do because I was so heavy. So I just extracted damage house right away. Not really that much loot at all. All I got from Caban was that extra aspect key. You know, I've been thinking a lot recently about how I want to format my content after I finish up the weekly Bitcoin farm series. And I had two main ideas, and the first one was just to try to output a video every other day, like on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And those would just cover the, like, in-depth one or two best raids from that day. And then on the weekend, I'd output the weekly upload, which could still be anything like a guide or some other progressive series to come up with. The other idea I had was pretty similar, but it would just pace it out a little bit more, and I'd just have one of those 30 to 40 minute videos at the end of the week, like the weekend, like I'm posting right now. And then one or two raid highlight in the middle of the week that's a little bit shorter but it's a little bit more extensive and covers the whole raids as of now i still don't know what i'm gonna go with as i move forward but we're gonna finish the bitcoin series and figure it out i guess you'll see when it happens <laughs> that's why you hug the wall when you're hitting the duffel bag that boy would have had me for free if i wasn't hugging the wall he did not have much but at least he gave me a black rock to stack with now I'm actually just going to strip his HK down. The raid has sounded pretty quiet. I haven't heard any gunshots in a while after I've killed him, so I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a freebie after this. I want as much room as possible to hold more loot. Gotta rub it for good luck. <laughs> Bro, security just keeps paying out. This key loves me. What a beautiful run. That was pretty much free besides that one kill. I haven't seen player scavs all day. I feel like it's bugged because I couldn't scav streets earlier as well, but this is like a two miller right here. We have a visitor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. These are the doors. That's like oven down there. Just get a nade and take some space here. That hits. I might have bounced back at me off the ceiling. We're good. I should have run up there. We're good. You can fake him out real quick. Repeat, please. Surely I didn't just kill him through the door, right? <laughs> oh my. Rest in peace, brother. We'll have to put this RFB to good use later. Be about level 40, okay? Bro's running BCP? Nah. No wonder I'm alive, bro's using FMJ and RFB. That's crazy. Just go do your lighthouse quest, bro. Get your M80 unlocked. Get your money up. Actually crazy, I just haven't seen a Bitcoin in six or seven raids. So we're getting number 102 here from the farm as well. And then we're also getting 103 as well from the farm. We just went to work and got back for another free bitty here. I think I'm going to start working on that guide now. So I'm going to do a lot of scav runs between whenever I uh, am looking for something to do in free time. Pretty sure it's a PMZ. <laughs> that was the least deserved kill of my life. I think I missed 80% of my bullets. That's just a circle of life, baby. Scab killing PMC. That's how it's supposed to be. Dog tag? Two of them. You're telling me there's two guys in this lobby that were worse than this dude. I should have been running PMC after all, man. These are freebies. That's crazy. Not a whole lot here and still no biddies, but money's money. We go again later, I guess. Just feeling a PMC run real quick after frying that dude, so we're gonna send one. And we got <laughs> one of the worst. I mean, it's not that bad. I guess it's pretty good, but... I think we go hit Beluga and see where we go from there. Ooh, door's open. We may have company here. I think we'll check these spawns really quick and then get back out there. If he's not in here, he's definitely still in that building because I ran straight here. There's no way he could have got out of here. I was up there trying to sneak up on me. <laughs> like a rat in a trap. TikTok gave me a hope, but man is incredibly poor. Everyone's just out here trying to do this quest in the worst gear they could possibly find. I think we're just gonna dump his gear and get the flare and get out of here. Oh, he's on M8552. Bro's down horrendous, I'm sorry, Inquisito. That should be the rest of it. Let's just get out of here and reset real quick. I saw him peek the window and we just had a little back and forth standoff of sitting still trying to listen for the other one's audio for a good like eight minutes there so I figure it's better we just reset as soon as we can and get back out on a fresh raid. 
bro. That is crazy. The first Bitcoin in the video that I even found in a raid is from the safe in finance. I don't think I've ever seen a Bitcoin in that safe before. Ooh, still need this bad boy for Kappa too. We love to see that. There's some shots over here and I figured I'd come take a peek, but the mail's already looted. There's really nothing to lose from pushing this. Alright, we're giving up. We couldn't find him. Whoa. Nah, <laughs> bro literally just forgot about the door spawn. Someone did not watch my loot guide and it shows. That is unreal. Thanks for the free biddy, whoever was over there fighting in mail. For some reason, I just didn't record the extract, but here's number 104 and 105. Beautiful. Ooh. It should be 106. I'm already pretty full, though. It's crazy. This is just a free run. I haven't had to fight anyone. They fixed scavs, so there's scavs all over the map again, and you're going to have to wade through those, but they also make Concordia doors work again, so it's a trade-off. I actually get loot now if I spawn in that corner of the map. It's wonderful. It's nice to finally get Bitcoin these two raids back to back because I just ran like six or seven raids yesterday and didn't see a single one. Nice to see multiple raids in a row with Bitcoin finally. I just went all day yesterday without a single one. So hopefully we can catch up to the Bitcoin GPU farm throughout this week and at least be 50-50 between found and raided farmed. And here's number 106. Beautiful. Ooh. Green bats are like over 160k and they just sit on that table and on the mat in this room. It's just a freebie. Every single time you pass through here, it's either that or a Tetris sometimes. Daycare is always paying me out. Nothing really interesting happened this run. I just killed scabs and ran loot. I pretty much had the whole map to myself again, which is weird considering it's like the middle of the day right now. Uh oh. Nope. We are full, full in here. We're gonna have to unload this now before we go back. Ooh. This 107 out of the free Concordia shoebox. I don't think I've seen one here in a while. Hey, yo, rat. What the hell is wrong with you? I should probably put my head down. We're gonna loot this quick. There's nothing he can really do about it. Marines. Confirm. Roger that. Locals arrive. I'm on loot. Cover me. Roger that. I'm in place. I'm just gonna toss a nade quick and get out of here. It's not worth sitting here all day with them. I just hate fighting this. I can't fight against that wall, especially without a scope. Like, there's just nothing you can do. They can sit there on a heady or they can lay down under it, and there's just a. You have to swing a door, and my gun's too long to swing the door. I have to wait for it to pull up after I swing the door as well. There's just no way you win those. Sounds like he's got company on his end too. It's all good. I'm just gonna met up and move on to loot somewhere else. Get a little bit more loot from mail and we got that uh, one bitty from the free room in Concordia shoebox. So getting out with probably just under a mil plus that Bitcoin. Here's number 107. Beautiful. The box is full again. I think you might have noticed by now that my money stack is not really going up in the top right there, even though I filled up this box a few times. I'm really just holding all my offers in Ragman until the end of the week, but I played one day earlier and then I spent three days on the guide video and now I'm playing one day again here, so it's really only going to be like two days worth of money in there. Hey, yo. That didn't kill him? <laughs> uh, at least we're getting number 108 from the farm here. Better than nothing. All right, we're getting morale back up with a beautiful scav run before work. We spawned with a black rock and a smoke. Or this is gonna be a juice rock, I can already feel it. Nothing too crazy, but that's at least a couple hundred K for the bag. We'll get right back to farming when I'm home. All right, 109 is just waiting for us here. Beautiful. We're warming up with a scav run or two here. It's a couple hundred K to start the night out. Hopefully I can find three more Bitcoin tonight before I'm done recording so we can end the video with a clean eight rows in the scav case. Ooh. I haven't seen one here in a while. That's that front office in mail. Finishing the scab run off with another couple hundred K and another Bitcoin. That should be a clean 110 in the box. Beautiful. I think it's about time we send some PMC runs now though. Oh my. 
Dude, that is actually crazy. That's like the third one that we've had. The second or third one that we've had from 64 Office this video. Ooh. I don't think I've seen a video in home cinema this entire way. That's beautiful. Not dead. That was flash bell. That one's dead. There's three? There's no way there's two more, bro. I'm just gonna nade and get out of here. I'm not gonna f*** with this. Probably shouldn't even take taxi if it's up, because they're gonna be on my ass if they see the green light up. Oh, thank god, courtyard's up. I was not gonna make it across the map. We did kill him, for sure. Okay. I thought I saw that flashlight drop. That was definitely him dying. That's 111. Beautiful. And we get 112 as well. I didn't really play that much yesterday. It was like three or four raids total, counting the scav runs, so we're not gonna count that as a full day. That's just a couple raids, but we're gonna go again today. Try to get a couple more raids in today before the end of the week. I am trying to fill out all my cap items here before I even start questing for it, but I don't really plan on even touching any of those quests until after I'm done with the Bitcoin series, but this is the Dr. Disrespect body and the cotton beanie from one scav raid. We love to see that progress for free. I saw the mustache on my scav, so I couldn't help sending another run here really quick before I got into PMC runs. Mustache in baby. There it is. I actually spent pretty much all day working on the start of this video So we got 113 here for the collection before we actually start raiding I keep saying that hopefully I actually commit to it and do a couple more runs before I'm done with the video We'll see ran some errands and edited some more so 114 as well from the farm All right, we're all the way caught up on editing this video to pretty much right now So here's 115 from the farm. This will definitely be the last one because I want to get it out by Monday So we're just gonna run like five or six more raids today And then we're gonna put together everything I get and put it out we got the fire steel this raid too, really quick. We had a scab to warm up. A couple hundred K and a fire steel's uh, beautiful for the progression. Hopefully we can just get everything we need before I even get collector. That would make a uh, Kappa grind go even more quick if I don't have to RNG grind for an item right at the end. Ooh, today's just collector day, man. That's crazy. Just doing a couple scab runs here to start the day out before I really get into it. We get out with a bear and a free valid eh? Looks like we only need five or six more items and then I'm done with this too. That's crazy. I think we're definitely going to finish this off before I'm even done with the Bitcoin case. Hey, yo. That's a 3 miller right there for a 95k. We take those. That is beautiful. Let me get that. Now that Intel's and Moonshine are both... I mean, Intel's over 300k. Moonshine's are almost 300k. It's definitely just worth it to send 95k's if you want to run the scab case over and over again. Look at this bad boy. It's beautiful. 3.3. Oh, yeah. That pays for 33 more 95k's. We go again. Oh, I think this might be the first Bitcoin I've seen on the suitcase this way. That is lovely. I lied, by the way. I'm doing like three more scav runs today and then I'm getting off because uh, I got some stuff to do. But I promise PMC runs tomorrow. Surely. I'm just booking it with the Bitcoin anyways. You can go right back here in this top corner of the map. There's like this pharmacy up here that is for a therapist quest. There's a whole bunch of uh, med bags in here all over the place. And there's also a couple med spawns that you can check that I'll probably cover. But I'm going to go over this place in a scav loot guide that I'm working on right now. But it probably won't be out for a week or two still. It'll be just as thorough as the PMT loot guide I put out on Friday this week. But it'll just uh, be everything that you can do in a scav run even without keys. Every little nook and cranny you can get some free ruples from. That's another scav biddy right here. Getting out for a freebie. We just hit the place we spawned at, had a biddy and got out. That's beautiful. And this should be 116? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, pretty sure we still need Danex too. That's beautiful. These scav ones are treating me nice. You know, with the Danex, I think we just need like three more items, maybe four. And then we're done with Collector before we even start it. Alright, this is going to be number 117 here. Like I said, I just had to do those couple scav runs and get off, so I'm just going to hit one warm-up scav run and then hit three or four PMC runs now that I finally have the time of day to do so, and then we're going to call it a video. Ooh, Golden World's not looted. That's a good sign for this run at least. Oh, <laughs> we are treated nicely today. I have a good feeling about the PMC runs tonight. This is going to go down number 118, plus a couple extra 100k in loot. That's a beautiful run to start the day on. Packing 118 in here. Ooh, <laughs> full again, baby. I've probably made like 20, 30 mil this week. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Regman's got at least 25 for me. Or a rust bomb. I guess we can use a relaxation key at least. Ooh. Loot. Looks like someone's already in there. Oh, bro, in the door. Why is he just running? There's no way he only has like 10 bullets, right? 
It's got an MDR with a 25, man. There's no way you shot 25 already. Level 50 something. Rest in peace, bro. Ooh. Hello. Didn't even intend to rat relaxation, but looked at my phone for 10 seconds and bro starts running up. Well, unlucky for him, I guess. Where are you looking? I definitely did get him. Mm, good egg. Let's just get the door closed real quick. Another level 50. Got another stacking rig for me. Uh. And a cool little mask. No anyone's taking my slender mask. That's my precious baby. That's definitely coming back in insurance. I think I'm just gonna strip the MDR and take his gun. Like 60, 70 keys now. Yeah, I got them. We're just gonna pop a trim and get out of here. Yeah, we'll pop SJ62. I don't really feel like walking behind Pinewood in the open. I hate doing that. I just feel way too exposed. Not an awful raid. I literally walked like 10 feet and then I ran to extract after I killed two people, I guess. I mean, we'll take the free gear. I love getting a free bag early. That's going to make a nice kit later. Bro probably would have got me if he had his T7s on. Unfortunate. We're just going to dunk the sniper and run in. I'm not going to deal with the front hit. You're right. He's on the corner. Goofy is. It's gotta be the sniper out here. I didn't see anything over there. <laughs> Two pellets. Two pellets in the chest and one in the head of Shrap 10. On a tier 5 armor and a tier 4 helmet. That is incredible. Oh well. We're gonna go again. Just tried to see if I could scav back into that raid to get my kit real quick, but we got someone else's raid where they killed Kaban and I got a full stack of BP because that dude just didn't loot mags. We just take a couple hundred K and the free ammo, I guess. Alright. Oh, we got a beautiful spawn right under 64. We love to see it. Nah, that's gotta be number three from 64 office this video. That is insane. Just this week. This office loves me. All right, we're getting out with the GPU and that's about it. I heard a bunch of commotion at check and med, so I just figured that whole side of the map's looted. We're just gonna get out and reset. What is this? Is this a cinema one? Nah, that's a golden world. Ooh, bitty and bitty. This is gonna be a beautiful run. I can already feel it. Doors are open. Not all the way up though. Ooh. Must have just been a scav or someone coming out of basement, I guess, could have been that too, but I just gotta watch my guy, he doesn't know about the loot up here. Yeah, security's hit. They probably just went straight up to med instead of going through free room. They just got no clue about the loot. I can't hold badges, bro. I got too many badges. Another one. Alright, we're getting out with way too many badges and a couple hundred K and two biddies as well. That's beautiful. Definitely room for more loot. We gotta go again. It should be 119 and 120. Beautiful. Okay. I want to keep getting these videos out on Monday morning, so this one's probably got to be the last one, otherwise I'm not going to have time to edit everything that I've gotten today and get it out on time. This one spawn's just goofy with Veritas, you have to like lay down and like alt look. Yeah, there it is, and then you can just pick it up, but it doesn't normally let you from standing up. Ooh, mail was bad in check, looks like it's looted too. That is tough for this run. Well... I mean, it looks like 15's closed at least. Maybe he left that. Hopefully he didn't just close it behind himself. I'm always worried about someone sitting... Oh, beautiful. I'm always worried about someone sitting on those stairs whenever that door's open, but check is locked. They're just waiting for you to hit the key. No. One stand. Oh. Beautiful. Thank God that dude didn't have the key. We got another check 15 Bitcoin in this video. Bro probably just hit Iron Gate and then left. Unlucky for him. It's actually huge. Dude, all four of these spawns are up too. That's crazy. 
I feel like I never see this coach full like this anymore. Check 15 used to be so crazy, but now it's just so mid. Doors are open. I mean, he shot the lights out. This dude is weird. I hope he's not still in here. Maybe it's just a nade. It could have been. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, dude does not know how to loot for your room. That is unlucky. Bro, should have watched my loot guide, man. It is what it is. Yeah, all these are cleared out. Well, you didn't know how to loot for your room. We can check these at least. <laughs> Someone send this dude a loot guide, bro. This is crazy. He's got all the keys and just has no idea where he's going. That is unlucky for him. Thanks to somebody not knowing where the loot was in Concordia and somebody just not having check 15 key. We got three free biddies this raid. We never should have had those. That's incredible. We got a skull in there. That should be 121, 122, and 123 here. That's where we're going to end it, but... 123 is crazy considering I'm pretty sure we started with 97 this video. So that's like 26 this week. I'll have to count it back, but I'm sure the title will say how many I found in the actual raid this week. So I'm pretty sure that my oldest sale here with Ragman has two days left on it, and their last seven, so that's like over a span of five days is what it took me to get all this loot. But most of that on the first day was just like a half day that I spent raiding, and I didn't even get Bitcoins in raid. And then I spent three days editing and recording for the guide video that came out on Friday, and then I got one more day of loot in here, so that's five days and three days editing. And I worked on both the days that I was actually playing full time that I wasn't editing, so... Which is crazy looking back at all the clips and realizing how much progress we made in less than two days of gameplay. Oh, it looks beautiful. This is wide. I think I said like 25 mil earlier, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's more. I got a lot of GPUs this week too. We're not even at the bottom yet here. Oh, this is definitely over 25. Oh my. 30? Oh, clean 30. Not even 31. We love to see it. That's pretty much two days of gameplay for 30 mil, we love that. 50 mil a day on streets isn't that insane, but considering that I'm pretty strapped for time, I really love it to see this much progress in my money stash as well. Not to mention the fact that we picked up 26 Bitcoin this week, and I did count it back before I moved on to recording this clip, and it was 13 in raid, so that's 50% from the raid and from the farm. And I'm pretty sure like 8 of them were just from today, which is just insane. I love having days like this where you get like 5 or 6, or even more than that in a day. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty sure boss spawns are up to 20% now, 1 in 5, so unless I get a crazy weekly, I'm probably going to go hunt Kaban and Sanitar this week if I can. So if you want to see me lose a bunch of kits to AI, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss that video next week. And anyone who's still around this late in the video, I really can't stress enough how much I appreciate you guys spending 30 minutes on a video like this. It's cool to see the channel actually doing really well this week and these last few weeks, but regardless how well it's doing, I just love that there's people out there who are willing to spend 30 minutes of their time watching something that I made. And I mentioned it in the guide too, but my partner program application was approved last week, which means we got a members button in the bottom, and I'm not really too sure what to do about that yet. The option's there, and you'll definitely get a shout out at the end of videos if you sign up for it, but I don't really expect anyone to yet. I don't really have a good reward system set up but i'm interested to see what kind of things prospective channel members would be looking for if there were rewards for that button as well i'm also looking to start it up a discord for channel members and twitch subs in the future you can set up like learner raids or community stuff or even an lfg channel for those of you just looking for new people to play with i just got to get it fully set up before i put that plan into motion too anyways subscribe for weekly videos see ya